Hey everybody, Jesse from Rainey's Flies here. I'm here in our uh, Northern Utah warehouse and we have finalized our new for 2020 fly assortment and I wanted to give you a little teaser on that and tell you a little, about, a little bit about each pattern. First and foremost, we have our new for 2020 addendum mount, four pages of innovative patterns. Make sure that if you don't have one of those, you get one from your sales rep or contact us directly. But don't also forget that uh, we still have our new for 2020 or to, new for 2019 addendum and our master catalog. Both are still valid. Make sure you hold on to them and you can see all the patterns that we offer. So without further ado, we're going to dive right in and I'm going to tell you a little bit about each new pattern. First we have here is a new pattern from Staten Klein. Staten Klein has this pattern that we call the Spotlight Done. The Spotlight Done is a little bit more of an entomologically correct pattern. You can see it has kind of a bent shank and a little bit of synthetic so that uh, it, it imitates more of a, uh, a spent uh, mayfly. Additionally, uh, we have colored the, t the, the parachute up the side to, to match the hackle, so it's a little bit more camouflaged for those uh, seemingly picky trout. We do that in PMD, Blooming Olive, and uh, Adams, as you can see there. The next pattern, also by State and Klein, is something that we call the Everything Dry. The Everything Dry was built from the chassis up to try to imitate every possible uh, pattern in a dry, whether it's a mayfly, a midge, a caddis, and within those categories, emergers, cripples, and uh, adults, uh, so forth. As you can see, it has a nice elk wing on it, which aids as the, the visibility of, of the fly, imitates a caddis. It also has some some uh, synthetic coming out the back like a cripple. It also has a spent wing synthetic uh, uh, chassis, a nice body, and some UV uh, uh, dub uh, inside of that to act, act as a little bit of flash. And uh, the, uh, the elk wing also acts as kind of a cripple as well uh, coming out. We do that in basically a dark, a dark and a light color, but you can see it's truly olive and tan there. The next fly pattern we have here is called the flat top drake. And what we did with this one, we worked with uh, Roman Moser, the designer of this, who came out with this fantastic wing and this over, over carapace of foam. But we blended four different colors of dubbing into the belly of this color. So it is actually green drake, gray drake, and brown drake all mixed together. And depending on how the light hits it, you, the fish will see those. And we've had great success fishing this for all different hatches. And so you have one drake to imitate all uh, drake hatches. The next pattern we have here is the Lipstick Sally. The Lipstick Sally uses a foam body and a par foam parachute, which is actually three tones. So you can see all three tones parachute coming out that. It's available in sizes 12 and 14. This would be the size 12, and of course the size 14 would be just slightly lower than that. Great yellow Sally pattern. We move from there to some stoneflies. Always great to have new stoneflies. This is called the Crossbred Stone, and it's a good combination of, of all different kinds of elements. As you can see on the Golden Stone, um, both uh, patterns will have a, a little peacock curl down at the, the, the base to imitate the egg sac. It's got good two-tone legs and uh, antenna made from crystal flash, so it gives it a good profile on the water. Also a rib. As you can see, the top here is actually uh, has a, a chunk of foam uh, that's two-tone along the top and then folded back. It's nice because this top part acts as a uh, strike indicator as well. And then the foam acts to help to, to buoy the fly up. And then we actually put a, a, a gray foam underwing in both patterns as well, as you can see there, which helps to, to support the fly and aid in flotation as well. From there, we stick to some uh, caddis larvas. You can see here, this is called the rock bottom caddis. The rock bottom caddis uh, imitates a, a cased uh, caddis pattern. We offer it in two different colors. You can see the green worm and the tan worm. And uh, caddis will ride hook, uh, legs down, swimming from rock to rock. And so the, as you can see, the bead is towards the bend of the hook and it has a nice epoxy over some turkey uh, wing here. So it acts as a nice shell back and it will ride with the bend down, especially with the line tension coming out from the eye, just as they swim in the water, trying to struggle from rock to rock and find their new home. After that, we have the Hegan Ant. The Hegan Ant is one of our new favorite uh, terrestrial patterns uh, for 2020, uh, designed by uh, Daniel Smith. It uses a, uh, a, a spiraled foam body that you tip with a little bit of uh, magic marker to create a nice ribbon. You can see that in all of the three lighter colors, but we do offer it in all black as well. It's got a good uh, platform where the, uh, the air gets trapped inside this, and it has uh, foam on the top, as you can see and then it has a good poly wing and hackle. So this is a very buoyant 
a tractor terrestrial could imitate anything from beetles to small hoppers to just any kind of uh, general terrestrial, good searching pattern, and uh, uh, just a, a wonderful terrestrial pattern uh, offered in sizes uh, 12 and 14. From there, we go to a small version of an existing pattern. So uh, last year we came out, or a couple years ago, we came out with the head turner hopper, and uh, it was limited in size due to its design to size eight, but we were now coming out with an eight and a size 10, as you can see here in a smaller version where it has more of a solid foam uh, body, but st same realistic uh, features. And uh, you can see the belly colors there where we, we stripe it and bar it to make it look really realistic. And it's got the good uh, flexi legs and it actually is on a 90 degree uh, jig hook. And that just helps with, uh, with setting the hook properly as well as keeping uh, the, f the fly high and riding in, in the water where most of the weight is way below the, the center line of the, of the hopper. As you can see, that comes in four colors. We've got tan, cream, olive, and this golden yellow color. From dries, we go to nymphs. So this is a new uh, 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 mayfly uh, nymph from Paul Mason. It's called the Low Rise Nympho. As you can see, it's offered in a variety of colors. We have black, olive, a rainbow color, and kind of a rusty brown color. It not only has a tungsten bead for, for weight here, but it also has a glass bead behind it to add as attraction. And then we put a little colored thread in between those. So this is a great all-purpose attractor mayfly nymph, and it has synthetic legs and tail. Um, great uh, extra weight to it. It's gonna sink down there and, and get right in the zone really, really fast and be a great uh, searching attractor nymph pattern. We go to some stones. This is Dornan's Bent Stone. We offer it in three colors. The intent is to make a more entomologically correct stone as they struggle through the water. They curl up a little bit. Um, we offer that in an all black, a black and beige, and a black and light orange uh, color. It uses white legs for great attraction in the water, but also uh, antenna and, uh, uh, to make it really uh, buggy looking. It not only has a brass bead head on the front, but it also has some lead weight in the thorax area to give this nymph, uh, uh, stonefly nymph, a really uh, heavy, uh, sink rate uh, down in the water and uh, make it really buggy looking, making it irresistible to fish. Uh, we move on to uh, some other uh, wet flies. Um, the Euro nymph craze is, is still hot and uh, so we've been developing uh, a new idea for the Euro nymph market, a Euro nymph worm. And so uh, this is called the Euro trash uh, nymph, or excuse me, the Euro trash uh, worm. And uh, as you can see, it has a tungsten uh, bead and it's made of our stretch flex and a couple of pieces of crystal flash. This can be uh, pulled through the water, Euro nymph style, or you can dead drift it. But a great uh, alternate uh, worm pattern, but also uh, rides hook point up. So it's perfect for the, uh, the Euro nymph uh, technique. And uh, as you can see, it comes in uh, four colors, orange, brown, pink, and red. We move on to a new crayfish called the Bouncing Crayfish. The Bouncing Crayfish is a fantastic uh, 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 impressionistic uh, pattern of a, of a crayfish. It uses a black cone head. It's on a 60 degree jig hook as well. And this can be dead drifted or it can be stripped through the water as well. And uh, it imitates uh, a crayfish and we have the four different colors here, kind of a molting crayfish, or we have olive, or we have an orange. Um, great little small meal ticket, great for not only trout, but you can fish it for carp and panfish and other uh, bass and other uh, warm water species as well. This is the bouncing crayfish. One size, uh, three colors. <clears throat> Next is we're getting to some general streamers. Our ever popular autumn bugger, which is comes in brown and yellow, has been one of our top selling woolly bugger patterns forever. And so we decided to come out with some additional colors in that same design. And so we've simply taken a uh, woolly bugger and made it into three different colors. We call this one the midnight bugger, this one the whiteout bugger, and then the crayfish bugger. But it uses the rubber legs, so it offers those, the, the great movement in the water, as well as that two-tone nature in, in most cases that uh, make it really attractive to, to fish. And we're, again, we're doing this in sizes four through 10. Continuing on with the streamers, this next pattern by uh, State and Klein is called throat fur. Throat fur comes in, as you can see, one size, size four, and six different colors, both fresh watery colors as well as salt watery colors, uh, and warm water as well. It's uh, a small three and a half inch uh, synthetic bait fish pattern, so it's really easy to cast. It can be used as a trailer to a bigger fly, 
Um, it's very translucent material, and we actually put a little UV flash in each one of those. We also do it in a uh, purely pur pearly white color, so you could make your own color combinations if you really wanted to. Uh, anyways, this is Throat Fur by State and Klein, a great new uh, easy castable uh, streamer pattern for two 2020. Moving on to the next one, this pattern here combines our favorite basic streamer pattern of all time, which is a zonker using a, a basic zonker strip, some, some silly legs or rubber legs on the side, but also adds that element of flash, which is ever uh, popular. Everybody loves the sparkle flies, and they have been proven to catch fish. So we combined it into two and worked with a designer to, to dial this in using a flyman head, a nice sparkle collar, some rabbit, and some marabou. So it's a great uh, marriage between synthetic and natural materials. And, uh, and coming out of this, this is called 1.21 gigawatts. Very appropriate because they're very electric looking for sure. From there, uh, we go to articulated streamers. We have a new one coming out this, this year. This one from Paul Mason is called the Side Hustle. The Side Hustle actually uses one of our new heads called the Fish Head Slider. And uh, the Fish Head Slider is very buoyant, but we offset that with some lead in the head so that actually this fly does sink. Again, uses Rabbit uh, and, and Maribou for ultimate breathability. And you can, you can notice the flash in there too, so it's got some good sparkle to it and the head pushes a lot of water. You've got great attraction with the throat cuts, and you can see like in the cutthroat, we actually do it in orange, the rest of them we do it in red, making this a very realistic articulated bait fish pattern um, in, in a variety of different colors, size two. Next we have uh, a pattern called the, the Ripple Minnow. The Ripple Minnow, designed by uh, uh, John Graham, uh, uses Hairline's new ripple uh, uh, fiber, which is just a fantastic and wonderful fiber that is all kinky as it comes through and it reflects light in such a miraculous way. Uh, we designed this in so many different color options, it was hard to choose any, but we went with a lot of them. As you can see, we offer it in both freshwater and saltwater uh, colors. We offer it in a size two and a, and a one aught. And the one aught, as you can see, is in more of the bigger tarpony type colors. The saltwater colors are offered in both, uh, but the freshwater colors uh, uh, are, are, are more towards the top, like rainbow or olive and white. Um, again, this uses a great combination of synthetic flash material as well as some marabou in, the, uh, in the, the pectoral fin area and some bucktail coming back into the back. Great combination of both synthetic and uh, natural materials. And uh, uh, this pattern uh, also is very easy to cast, you know. Uh, most anglers can catch really big fish on these patterns because they still give such a big profile. Uh, to catch big fish, but they're really easy to cast. After that, we go to uh, beach poppers. So we have, uh, are gonna be now doing Leland's beach poppers. Uh, he's one of our fly designers. This is his standard design that's been around for a long time. Uh, but we offer this beach popper in both the sea run size and the coho size, and more or less in olive and white. And then we actually did another variation called the nude beach popper using one of our booby eyes. And uh, that's all available in a size two, as you can see there too. So a great combination of beach poppers. This is an, uh, a growing in popularity uh, on the in the northwest uh, coast, uh, but can be fished uh, in the general salt water as well uh, for any sea run uh, type creatures. It just creates a nice bait fish wake on top of the surface, uh, making it irresistible to those uh, those running fish. We're gonna move into some warm water flies now, primarily designed for carp. This uh, pattern here is called Raiders of the Lost Carp. Uh, but we have fished it not only for carp, but panfish and other bass as well. It comes in just one size, but it uses a pine squirrel little little tail in the, in the, in the, in the rear end, a great combination of collared materials to make it bulky. And of course it uses a um, barbell to keep it uh, uh, riding hook point up. So this is a, it comes in olive, uh, kind of a black and purple combination, kind of a crayfish color combination, as you can see there. Um, Raiders of the Lost Carp uh, by uh, uh, Sikowski. Uh, uh, Sikowski has also come out with the Devil Dog, which is a, a, a great bass fly. It's on a 60-degree uh, jig hook, as you can see. And if you look, the tail is jointed and has, a, it has no hook in it, but it has, it's on a shank, and then has a fly tail coming off that. So not only does the fly tail twirl, but it can move in every direction as well, offering this fly a lot of movement um, in, in the rear end, making it very irresistible. And we offer that in a white color of black, a chartreuse, and an orange uh, crayfish color. Rides hook point up, 
um, with the barbell down on the bottom. So this is the Devil Dog. Next, uh, going to some poppers here. This popper here is called the Psychoactive Frog Popper. We offer it in just one size, size one, but it has three different belly colors. You can just kind of see the orange, the white, and the yellow belly colors. A very realistic frog pattern. Um, it's got rubber legs coming out the side, and the tail is made out of synthetic craft fur and just a couple of hackle pieces with some guinea uh, in, in the in, in black two-tone collar, uh, making this fly just a real uh, good-looking uh, frog popper. Um, easy to cast. The, the foam is really lightweight in the head, and the tail being synthetic, it just sheds that, that, uh, that extra weight as soon as you pick it up. This is the Psychoactive Frog Popper. Its uh, older brother is, uh, is right over here, called the Predator Popper. Predator Popper also incorporates a synthetic craft for tail, so it's easy to pick up and, and, and throw and shed. Um, it's our longer, medium-sized uh, saltwater popper. And that we've two-tone painted it and added some uh, some details. Great for all warm water species, uh, as well as uh, you could throw it in the salt on, on some of these colors are very applicable. It also has a, a nice glass eye that we've sourced out that really adds pop to that fly, not only in the bin, but also to the fish as well. This is the Predator Popper. On that same token, we have added uh, two new large poppers, the first being the uh, Mega Rattlin' Mouse. This is new for 2020. We've taken uh, a lot of our flies and jumbo-sized them, and so we created a large mouse for predators such as pike and muskie and uh, other places like peacock bass. Uh, this, this fly is on a 6 aught hook and uh, has some offset weight, so it always lands uh, down properly. And then it has a curly uh, tail on the rear end, so the tail actually uh, creates that, that movement as it's stripped out. That's the uh, Mega Rattlin' Frog, and then, or Me Me Mega Rattlin' Mouse. And then we've upsized our ever popular uh, Rattlin' Frog. A Rattlin' Frog is one of our top selling poppers, and we just had such a great demand to upsize it for peacock bass and other large species. So we've created this 9 op version of our rattling frog. It still has a rattle inside of it. It has a nice uh, marabou and hackle tail. And uh, again, it has an offset weight in the belly, so it lands a hook point down every time. But this is a big uh, meal ticket uh, frog for some of those bigger game species uh, available that new this year. From warm water, we're gonna shift to salt water. The first pattern here that we've got here from uh, Sitkowski is the dueling decapod. So this is a great flats species. Uh, a crimp pattern. So as you can see, it imitates both a, uh, a, a, a shrimp and a crab. So this can be thrown for bonefish, for permit, for other species. It rides hook point up, so it can ride in the flats really nicely. It's very realistic. It's got a good two-tone combination between pinks and tans. It's available just in one size, size four, and, uh, and this one color. This is the dueling decapod. From there, we go to the uh, uh, a pattern that we've had for a long time, the mini Corona Toad, but this is just a new color of it. So we're offering it in kind of blue and orange highlights there, as you can see, and it's even got an egg sac down in there. So this would be the size four, as you can see it has a barbell. We also offer this in a size six, where the, uh, the eye would be made out of bee chain, and bee chain is much lighter of a presentation, but kind of a new color, an existing very popular fly to kind of imitate more of those bluish and orange uh, highlighted crabs and, uh, and other uh, food sources that are out there in the flats. Next, we go to Greg Peterson's uh, uh, Gravy Train Slider. The Gravy Train Slider, as you can see, is a barbelled uh, bunny slider using uh, brushes in the, in the body for ultimate bugginess and good attractor eyes and, uh, and, and noses. But then it uses the rabbit in the rear end to uh, really move. Uh, Greg is a, is a guide down in the Gulf, and so this is some of his go-to patterns. And this is the gravy train slider, both available, and as you can see, just in one size, two colors, tan and olive. Next, we have the chili goat. The chili goat is a, also a good combination of both arctic goat and uh, craft fur and some other synthetic fibers, including lateral flash. Lateral flash is just amazing. It flashes in so many different directions. Originally designed for um, stripers, but it also works excellent for any species. You could catch trout, you can catch bass on it. Um, this is the big size 2 aught, which is about five inches long, and we offer it in about a four inch version that is a size two. So this is available in two sizes, but you can see gray and white, chartreuse white, olive white, and the tan white, this nice mullet color. And then last but not least, 
Again, a general saltwater pattern, but also all purpose for all kinds of things. Uh, this pattern here is called the drop dead Fred. Most drop, uh, most, uh, and what it Im imitates is a wounded bait fish. Most wounded bait fish are very uh, oriented towards the, the surface by nature. But the, the purpose of this was to create a subsurface uh, bait, or, uh, wounded bait fish pattern that you could actually fish the entire water column, even the bottom if you wanted to. It has a, uh, a barbell on the front to keep this hook riding hook point up but also keeping the fly so that it rides horizontal in the water. And as the fly gets picked up and swims, it just wants to dive down like this and creates a nice wobbly well tail that the fly is tied all the way to the rear to keep ultimate movement as this gets uh, wobbled around back here. But it also uh, kind of acts as a built-in uh, uh, bite guard as well. This, this can be fished and has been fished for pike, has been fished for muskie, for all kinds of saltwater, and even trout, pa trout uh, have eaten this pattern. That's why we offer it in a variety of colors, both salt and freshwater oriented. Great bass fly as well. And uh, this is just a new innovative pattern. Uh, that uh, that will allow you to fish, like I said, the entire water column for a wounded bait fish. And uh, so that concludes everything that we are offering for uh, 2020. Um, as always, you can always count on, on us here at Rainey's to make sure that we come out with the most innovative and unique patterns that, uh, that are available on the market. We're excited about our new for 2020 offering. Um, this is a good teaser uh, not only for uh, uh, dealers to, to become familiar with what we're offering, but consumers out there, you know, you can check it out and uh, go ask your local uh, fly shops that these are the, some of the patterns you'd like to add. Um, if you have any questions, you can always contact your sales rep uh, or us uh, here at the, uh, the Rainey's uh, warehouse, and uh, we'll be happy to help you and answer any of your questions. Thanks.